Hello painters, and welcome. In this episode, I'm going to show you a very easy, super rewarding way to paint flames. To start us off strong, I'm going to be using a base coat of pale yellow. There are several ways to achieve this. You might simply prime the model white and go from there. Or, in the case of models with paint already on them, you can use some white brush on primer. I find that to be the quickest way to get white over dark areas. After that, we simply need to apply some yellow. Don't worry about getting a smooth, solid color. We're simply adding a little variation to our base coat. Our next step is to create a wash of off-white. I do this by mixing paint with flow aid and a thin medium. Somehow, I lost footage here, but all you do is apply the wash and let it pull into the recesses. This is going to be the hottest tone, the core of our fire. And now, time to fan the flames. We're going to do a heavy dry brush with yellow. This paint is quite wet. While we want it to slide out the brush easily, we don't want it to run into the recesses. As you can see, the yellow has hit a large portion of the raised areas. I find this color to be great for adding energy to any effect. And now we're adding orange in a similar way, but a smaller area. You might think we're warming up, but really we're cooling down. The hottest point of fire is white. As we continue to build up darker tones, it's going to intensify that heat. To ensure you're not going overboard with your dry brushing, you can test your paint on scrap cardboard. This also absorbs moisture slower than paper towels, giving you a little extra control over your paint. Now to apply our red. We want to apply this further from the heat source. So we hit the upper and outer tongues of flame. This is the coldest part of our fire. Though there's more to be done, I'm going to pause and begin work on the iron bands. I find working on multiple parts of the model at once helps to tie it together later on. I'm building a solid color of dark red. I want this to touch the intense white. It's going to boost the contrast and really sell the idea of Just like with our flame, the further away we get from that white, the colder our metal's gonna get. I use a dark brown here as it's still a warm color and will marry the transition between the red and the black. Before we cool our metal any further, let's go back to our flame. As the fire eats fuel, the flame pulls debris up into the air. We can simulate this by flicking paint particles at our model. I water down the dark red and launch it towards the top of the flame. 
To create a smoky effect, I also glaze a little bit of brown towards the tip of our fire. And now back to the metal. In this next step, I'm going to be applying black on the outer planes of the metal facing away from the fire. This is going to sell the idea that light is escaping the flame and being blocked by the metal in its path. If you want your setting to be in a dark environment, you can stop right here. However, this model is going to be in a daylight setting. So I'm going to create reflections on the metal to sell the idea. Mixing my black and a cool gray gives me a color similar to skylight. And here we are, a massive fire golem, lurching through a field, leaving only ash and cinders in its wake. The only thing missing is marshmallows. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, I now have a coffee page. There you can buy commissions, which always have a chance of showing up on the channel. More information in the description below. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe. And sharing really helps me out. That's all for now. Have a great day.